on a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as Look the Texans that. get set to match the up with the New York the Jets. Raiders in second place. Check that out. Who's this black guy? With Charles Davis, as we're not going to speak about him. Godman. That's on the Charles screen right talk now. About storylines in this one, I think it begins. Mm. Defense stepped it up. Nothing on the scoreboard. Zero zero as the offense gets ready to take over the football. That's what y'all doing? Oh, you push them right over. A little bit of space there for the first down <laughs> run as that's going to get them the right over to yards. So, Charles, you talk about this offense, how well they've played. I mean, the defense, too, really. But oh, they're sure, sitting sure. at 10-0 now on the year. 4-0, 5-0, that's nice. But once you start hitting double digits with these wins and no losses, I think the seriousness of the situation, it just has to ramp up. Yeah, and when you do say 10-0, and 0, it can't scare you as a team. Just think about it this way. For most of the year, they've been playing to win their division and get to the playoffs. Now the playoffs are just about a foregone conclusion. So now they have to down-focus their thoughts about sure, getting home there. field advantage and finishing unbeaten. Look, see what they need happened. to make sure they keep it in that order. Sure, them over and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Definitely four down territory. Davis, they'll try to run for it. And some room to I was anticipating the damn tackle. What the hell was the damn safety doing? The 25 yard line. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week True. they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Down. Get on Felton. out there. There you go. And see, slow down the damn running back. You see, he started running slow. So back to Trying to wait behind his damn ass to get out there and throw the damn block. He's looking off to the sideline. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Looking to throw. Iverson. Flush to his right. And Mims has got it. Touchdown, Jets. I thought he got he kept his separations. So I was like, wait a minute, they just gotta throw it. His second touchdown on the season, and the Jets have taken a first quarter lead. Good job getting two toes down. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then I already you take got touchdowns. I got points. yards. You know that tells me to get 100 receivers, 100 really catches. Well. So I ain't tripping. I don't need to play as much. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a big play that time by the Jets. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride and off he went. 
It was almost like the ball hitting him was like him receiving a baton and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. Matter of fact, I'm tripping. What are we supposed to be doing? Do a tight end. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Pass block. Why the f do we have to press that two times, bro? Back to throw. Iverson forced out to his left. Finding room to the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So now they'll look to throw. Oh. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. I need to just make the tight end just go out. I was just thinking about that right before they play. I'm like, I need to make this tight end just go. We've seen how this guy stay back a lot. We saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact, but that time they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. My bad, you know. To throw on second down, Iverson. And able to That's why we down, still send that receiver on the deep route. The five. Just in case if the slant man doesn't get off. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. It took us too long to get down here. Try and run for it with Davis. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Okay, he got 10. Mike he good. Davis hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Jets lead this now 13 0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Look at back and push back group. It's not Hill. much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was that last one. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, Why two it? touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Y'all playing, okay, boy offense. Y'all playing bumper run. They'll run on first down. Felton into the secondary past the 40. As he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Took just one play it's to so move tempting, all the way man. to the 44 as they Bro, try tempting. again on <laughs> first too tempted. down. what y'all doing okay bastards looking to throw Iverson damn 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 thought you were going to throw it more on the angle right there squeeze it in second down I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes thought he was going to get more of a passing angle for him He's got second and third down to fall back on. Mm, he kind of lined up in the middle of the two of them. And 
And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 42. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Man, I'm tripping. I know they're playing zone. I don't know why I just did that. Should have ran the ball right On here. first down, Iverson. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Mm, come on, man. You got to seal that yeah, block, bro. Inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Jordan Jenkins there on the tackle. I know I need to. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down. Come on, man. Y'all got to do better with the block, bro. You got to seal him off. The five yard line. 48 yards the run play is supposed to really go up the, the, the A times. gap. I got to push him off, bro. On this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business. Push him of into the A gap. And dominating right now on this drive. Kill a little clock right here. Today, I don't really want them to have too much time before halftime. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Demetric Felton. His ninth touchdown of the season. The Crazy. Jets Mike Davis got more rushing touchdowns than him when. Felton, you know, so simple been out here, here getting the first it. half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is Jets offense coming up now to mm. start their next drive. We got the drive. ball back. And now consider the lead. The question is, how much is good enough? Are you going for more? It's the NFL. There's never enough, I believe, because they get reeled in all the time when you sit on the ball. I think that they will try and move the ball downfield and try and squeeze a few more points out of this first half. They'll be careful. They'll be a little bit cautious at times, but also they will attack downfield and try and get in position for at least three points. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. <laughs> Back to throw. Iverson. He's going to go for a big play downfield. He's got a man complete. 20. Let me use the turbo a little bit. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. 92 yards, and the Jets are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, I don't think they could do a That's follow through on him. That's a tough one for their defense to swallow. He didn't, he got the 99 arm strength, bro. Quarters. He shouldn't they have to really do all that with his body. He should be there. able to keep his feet planted and just throw that. that makes and barely lift his leg up. Jets oh, you're kidding. Coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here are y'all serious all right on first and ten Iverson he's gonna let it go again I waited too long watches deep 
The jump ball, and this is caught. So we've reached halftime with a visiting Jets. <laughs> that way too long to throw that one. I should do it we're standing Bob's still in stride. Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, bye weeks, they're over. We once again got a full slate of games to get to as we take you around the NFL here in week 12. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're I knew he was fast enough that I could squeeze right past that defensive man who read the play. Not a read option, they bro. Got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing no, themselves hurt. here in the second half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This time it's Davis. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's He ain't as fast, so we're going to run the ball with him. Well, you certainly have to give him a little credit break here because you know, they're playing like this that. game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Where are we at? The 46. Um, all right, we'll pass it. How about the true clock, bud? Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw Iverson. That's Hi, why did they make him come back? And he's brought down. See, we in the whiteouts. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage not been very good, soft in spots. And there's an easy throw and catch for another first down. Throwing on first down, Iverson caught right side. Davis. You supposed to switch hands with the ball, bro. All the way down inside. You supposed to switch 20. hands automatically. And if anyone thinks they're just gonna tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's gonna continue to take their shots downfield. And there's another completion. See, that's kind of more how Kenno should be passing all the time. It shouldn't be that much effort. He got 99 arm strength. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout. We need to material. kill more clock, though, bro. There, matter of fact. I wish they didn't automatically do that. That's, that's wasting time. Even though I switched to a run play, let the receiver stay over there. I know how to go back and reset the play, bro. On the draw, this is Davis. Damn, own fucking teammate. <laughs> Tripped over his own teammate. Lost six there on the first down play. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, this is again why I don't like draws. It, be it ugly. delays the run. And in this case, loss of yardage, ugly. Second and sixteen.
Back to throw. Iverson. Buying time to his left. Woo! Keno got the super juke right there. He's brought down at the nine. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 okay. yards. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Go on, Barrios. And the Jets are gonna have first and goal. I could have probably ran in there for this drive drive with six points. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You yeah, have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. I was out there. You know what? Screw it. Ah, oh, they shifted over now. Damn it! I ain't got no time to change it up. Operating from the gun, Iverson. Gone, Barrios. Gone, Barrios. Touchdown, Jets. I'm like, you know what? Nah, let's get Barrios another touchdown, bro. Touchdown now on the year. And the Jets take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. There was a lot of zip. We use up some clock. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. Nah, I'm gonna keep and just it think of what it's like keep now it on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On first down, Felton, and he sneaks his slow. way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Back now in Houston, and this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. Nah, stay up in the box, man. Stay close in the box. On right, second down, Felton again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. 82 yards rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football. This Gave him the, the shimmy game, juke. That means Hit him with really the head. Counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Okay, we're gonna throw because one you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, and no trip. time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, uh, they can't score. Damn. I forgot to turn off true clock. My bad. That's going to set him back five yards. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's Davis shedding through the defense, working his way. That's why I love Mike Davis in, because I knew it wasn't going to be a long run anyway. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Looking to throw on second down. Iverson. This one caught by Davis. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Gabriel Davis hitting double digits yeah. with his 10th touchdown yeah. of the season. And yeah. the Jets add on to their yeah. lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Walk it out. So walk it out. A good day's work. West side walk it out. East side walk it out. North side walk it out. South side walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Defense step up. So Shout out to the defense. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Hey, I want y'all defense to flip. Thank you. They'll run on first down. Felton, and he's going to get four. Face mask. About five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Holding. Referee? Shout out to that O-line, bro, because we barely didn't get a call for holding. So I ain't even mad. I really ain't saying, man. Offense will head back out there already an excellent field the position. Clock. Thanks to I ain't the interception. I'm happy about that. Get Barrios to see if we can get Barrios another catch. From the gun, Iverson. Over the middle, he gets it to Barrios. Oh, there go the face man. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next Probably thing you know, they march up another 15 against your squad. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Iverson. Dancing to his left. Come on. Get down block. Get down block. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Barrios, bro. Quick hitter here is complete. Uh, I'm gonna hit Barrios. There, only a yard. I almost, I, I, at first, I just put myself on the slant, and then I'm like, nah, I want to get Barrios. And see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. If I ran myself on the slant, I would have had the touchdown. I didn't want to. I wanted to get Barrios. I want to get him to five pat receiving touchdowns. I mean, I know this is a stupid part. We got what four more games in the season, but I'm trying to force him to get to five touchdowns in this game. To throw on second down, Iverson. And I knew he was already not it's gonna get that one. Not too many missteps in the red zone. I knew that when I saw the, the corners lined up on. See, now the corner lined up on the perfect. There, but boy, you know the last time the corner was lined up off to the side. Exactly. Go back and look at the play. Know, three is good, four is excellent. You get five. That's a whale of a game. They'll look 
to throw on third and goal. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And for them, this train go, is white boy, go, rolling, white boy, go, well go, white boy, go, victory. white boy, go, yeah, it's go, white away, boy, go, it? white and boy, you just go. Wonder how anyone could stop this? They got full momentum going, full confidence going, but it's not just their own confidence that is leading. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Okay. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. down Iverson he's gonna fire one deep over the middle and that is damn that's like I threw it too fast Took I should wait shot there on first down but he I probably could lost the damn safety an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten I should have waited throwing again Iverson He's going to try and go deep again. Ah. And that almost their and that time I threw a bullet. He the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. <laughs> on third down, Iverson. He's going to take another shot here. Oh shit, look at Barrios. Go Barrios. Go, 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 white boy. Go, white boy. Go, go, white boy. Go, white boy. Go. Yeah. Touchdown. This thing is ugly. I thought about getting the fifth touchdown catch for the team. And they're still taking into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there. But they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Fifty-six to three. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. scramble for this one on first and ten yep. Iverson steps away to his left and they are gonna score again yet another touchdown as they just add to their total you know what are you doing <laughs> They've already been they ain't the LB saying, shuffle. Hey, if our rookie quarterback's going to tuck it and run on a scramble, we kind of hold our breath. Well, that was a maybe no, 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 yes, as he's able to get into the end zone. Are you saying? A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. Hey, so we had more rushing yards than they had the passing. Defense finally stepped up. To 11 and 0 on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for Houston, they oh, you know I'm picking on the defense so much because it ain't like we got the greatest defense personnel. Redemption next week at home. We got decent against the Indianapolis. Damn, Colts. he was only 44 percent. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So Thanks Ken over 17 points. Still had a, we'll almost time. a perfect quarterback passer rating. 465 with six touchdowns. Eat your heart out, Pat Mahomes, Patty. Felton had over 100 with a touchdown. Mike Davis even still got a touchdown. 
Keno had a touchdown with 453. Berrios, beautiful job today, baby. Beautiful job. Look at the little white guy. Beautiful job, man. Shout out to him, man. We rooting for him. Mims came up. Five for 95 with a touchdown. Look at Davis. Four for 93 with a touchdown. I still had three for 156 and a touchdown. And we only gave up that one sack. Yeah, that one sack. 